that there is crayfish popcorn. Forget popcorn chicken, we'll go popcorn lobster. Mm. Alright legends, hope you're doing well. My name's Az from Back to Basics Adventures and yesterday we are out at the Great Barrier Reef and we caught a couple of different sized crayfish. We got one here, about 1.2 kilos. We're gonna do this hole on the barbecue. And this one here was a larger model, about two and a half kilos, that we're gonna cut in half, take the meat out, cut it up really fine, put in a little bit of flour, and then do it popcorn style, straight on the, uh, the hot pan in a little bit of olive oil. Let's get to it. So this little cray, I'm gonna cut him straight down the middle. On the top of the head, you need a good, firm blade. All right, it's got to be pretty strong to crack through that shell. I've got a Victinox Swibo, picked that up at me local, and that gets straight through the shell. No flex in the blade whatsoever. How's that? Beautiful white flesh all the way up through the head. There's different ways to cook different sized crayfish, all right? But these smaller ones, I like to do them halved on the coals or on the barbecue. But this larger one, I'll cut it down the middle, back of the shell. Like I said, really important you have a firm blade here. So you'll find that if you do these fresh, the meat won't pull out that easy. But if it's been frozen and then thawed out, the meat will come straight out. So what I'm gonna do now, is this, I'm gonna chop up really fine, and this takes only a minute or two to cook when it's in small pieces. But this one, however, I'm gonna let it cook within its own juices with the shell down, and it'll take about 10 or 15 minutes. So I'll get this one on first. I'll give that a couple of minutes to fire up, get some heat. I'm gonna throw a little bit of olive oil on the top of this cray because I'm gonna throw it flesh down first just for a couple of minutes to seal it. I'm gonna chop this larger cray tail up in pieces about yay big. Chop it up really fine, all of that. And similar to that of salt and pepper calamari, squid, you can throw that on a hot pan with oil and that'll only take, like I said, a minute or two to be cooked. Hey, bush turkey. Hey mate. That's got to be the luckiest bush turkey in the world. Eating the offcuts of a lobster. This is smoking, ready to go on. Let's get this cray. Half by half. So I'm just gonna leave that for literally no more than a minute or two. I'm gonna flip it back over and let it cook in its own juices. Give it about 10 to 15 minutes and I'll load it up with a few more herbs and spices, salt and pepper. Right. You do your thing now, mate. All right, we'll get some heat cranking on this pan. Give it a, a healthy dose of olive oil. Now, I've just got some regular breadcrumbs, you can do this with flour, corn flour, you can even do it with polenta, panko breadcrumbs, whatever you want to do. Bit of pepper, bit of salt, bit of salt in there. And I'm gonna chop up a bit of garlic as well, and do it with some garlic, I think that'd be really nice. I actually haven't eaten a cray in a, a, cray in a good while, so this is gonna be a real treat. Let's roll some of this cray up in these breadcrumbs. Get them covered. Some people like to put them in egg first. Not necessary, you can. Helps it stick a little bit better, but no chickens around, no eggs. So we're going straight cray to breadcrumbs. Let's get a few of those on the pan. Now these really won't take that long to cook. The cray that's whole in there, you can leave it for 10, 15 minutes, just keep an eye on it, but these ones you really need to watch. Don't leave the pan, because there's nothing worse than overcooking, and you're better off, to be honest, slightly undercooking it when the cray's fresh. 
Oh, this is going to be so good. Hey, mate, there you go. Hey, Jerry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bit, of a, bit of a bush kitchen. Just pushing pieces of garlic in between the meat. So you get that beautiful garlic flavour through the flesh. I've heard many, many great cooks, so there's no such thing as too much garlic, so <laughs> we'll put that one to the test. Oh, look at that golden brown, you're kidding. That there is so tender. A lot of people come back and say to me, I don't know how you eat craze, I don't know how you like them. They end up really tough when I boil them or when I'm baking them, they're ending up really tough and rubbery. But it's such a foolproof way to do them well is to cook it like this, chop them in fine pieces. It's a lot easier to get them really tender. This is honestly melting in my mouth. taking the smaller pieces off a lot quicker and I'll leave those larger ones another minute and that should do it. I'll let that butter melt through the flesh. And that's gonna add some serious flavor coupled in with that garlic, salt and pepper. Probably another five minutes off. This however, a bit of popcorn crayfish is not far off. How's that? Oh, unreal. Now, probably the biggest piece of advice that I can give when you're cooking a meal like this is to do it real far away from any other people and anyone you don't want to have to share <laughs> your, your hard-caught lobster. These guys, uh, they don't come along all the time. You don't get them every day. This is an absolute treat. And since cooking this, we've had three people walk from up the beach behind us, straight up to where the car park is, where we got the trucks parked. And they must have smelt the crayfish and they've all just poking the necks and, hey, what's going on? Oh, what's going on over there? So look, you know, unless you've got enough to share around, it'd be a pretty good idea to do it in isolation <laughs> or with your close friends and family because that there you don't want to have to share it with everyone I've done half with the breadcrumbs and just half straight on the hot pan <laughs> can hear a bit of action over here How nice is that coming along? Wow. So there you have it. We've got a cray that's been halved, put on the barbecue, done for 15 minutes. And then we've got the popcorn crayfish, chopped up fine on a hot pan with olive oil, washed down with a little bit of liquid gold. And I'll tell you what, I hope to see you out here. But more importantly, I hope that you can cook some up yourself. If you've got a different recipe, I'd love to see it in the comments, share, and I'll give it a try personally. But for now, Catch you later.